All right, next game we have uh, number 10 West Mac. They will travel to number seven Davie County. The winner of this game will face number two East Forsyth. This game of the week. I, I'm going to say oh, this right here. I okay. think this will be the best game on the docket this week. Mm -hmm. um, you got a team, uh, you know, Davie County. I mean, Nate Hampton, they run air raid out there. So, I mean, he's yeah. a fantastic quarterback, guy that can get the ball down the field. He's a guy that doesn't discriminate. I mean, you go look at the stats, all oh, four yeah. of the receivers, uh, you know, have played an impactful role in this offense. Um, I actually got to watch some film on Davie this year, um, them playing Mooresville. And, you know, we actually run a similar offense and, and you know, spoke with the OC. So, a lot of the things that, you know, I saw that he does on film are some things, you know, that way that we do it in some ways they, they definitely do it better. So I mean I think it'll be a tough thing for West Mech. Um, you know, given the success that we, we had against them through the air, mm -hmm. they, they're gonna you know, it's gonna be a test to see what they learned uh, out of that week three game to see if they or week four game, excuse me, to see if they can make those changes. But I mean of course everybody knows about Jamari Taylor and, and the impact he can have on an offense and mm -hmm. even the defense as he's out there a lot too. So I, I think both sides are really gonna come with some offense in this game and this might be a situation of who has the ball last uh, really wow. determines yeah. this game. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah like, like like Coach said, uh, Jamar Taylor, you know, a.k.a. Booby Miles. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he does it all, man. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, yeah. He, uh, you know, like, I was so surprised when we played him. You know, he's at running back, then he went to corner, then he was at quarterback, and he was just all over the place. And, and when, I, when I was there in 17, he did a lot similar, you know, mm -hmm. would go back and forth between running back and quarterback a lot. But uh, easily one of the best players um, in the city. Really and underrated. Yeah, very, 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 very underrated. But like Coach said, I think it could turn into a last person with the ball type situation. It seems like they've gotten some things worked out. Uh, I talked to Coach, Coach Mata pretty, you know, uh, regularly. and. You know, like he's said, you know, quarterback play has been way more consistent, been better. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be big going into the playoffs, you know, because it, it, um, you, you, for, for what he does offensively, I think you need a guy that can, you know, good trigger man. You know, that's, yeah. that was shown yeah. with Richard Latimer, uh, Preston, yeah. you know, anybody they've had. So, you know, when the trigger man's okay, that West Meg offense is going to be rolling if Coach Model's running it. So, it could turn into you know last person team with the ball type situation, but you know defensively, I don't I don't think they're uh, I think they they're a lot better defensively than people yeah, give they, credit they get, for. They get, yeah. yeah, yeah. Coach Max done a great job, man. Good first up, first yeah. year DC, he's done a great job, and, and people people don't talk about enough that how West Meg is so low in numbers. Their numbers, uh, yeah. their numbers, and the fact that they still go out and compete with people that people yeah. think they shouldn't. Uh, that that and a whole another thing is a hats right. off yeah, to, sure. to Coach Mata and them guys. Like, mm -hmm. you know, to, to when those ADMs came out, and I was like, God, Lee Twelve. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but but it shows on their team, nah, you know, because because like, you look, they got you know they got O line and D line going both ways. You know, they got Jamar mm -hmm. Taylor's going quarterback, running back, DB, and you know just so many guys playing different spots. So yeah, uh, you know, it could be a last team with the ball type situation, like Coach Grice said. Um, I played West Met and we came out there, we were prepping for one quarterback, and then when I saw Taylor back there, I threw my hat off and I said, hey, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, one day I'll say this, you know, not football related about him, that's one of the most, that kid right there, I respect him. He, uh, he was involved with a serious injury to one of our players, and the first person to come over there and make sure he was all right once he got on straight, he came over there, shook his hand, and prayed for him. I was like, that was big, you know. Shout super out to Coach. Humble kid. Yeah, I like yeah, super yeah, humble. Yeah, yeah. Them, um, Coach Mata and them. You know, of course, my brother-in-law is the AD over there. You know, I, I love what they're doing over there at West Mac. Um, like you said, this team right here, this probably they probably got like 26 kids, just like our. It's like it's not that many kids, mm -hmm. but you got 26 warriors out there. Them kids fight, yeah. and they they did not back down from us. And you know they, you know, revenge. And I don't. Think you can count that team out? You know, Mata is is a wonderful OC, and uh, he threw it for a loop when he started running the ball. We were like, "What? He running the ball? You know, he, he think Mata he's throwing the ball?" We were like, yeah. "He was all ready for it. come out there with three, three, five, and he out there throwing the ball." We we're like, "Oh man, you know, tight formations." And you like, "Yeah, 
he threw a wrench in there. You were like, Lord, you know, but um, it's a talented team. You know, them linemen are athletic, you know. They're yeah. just not no big sloppy guys. Them boys yeah. get out and run they and got move. Some you know, yeah. um, they got they, some they linebackers. Yeah, he can run. Yeah, yeah. Boy, he can he's run. the kicker. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, the kicker. Saw, he's, I, a good, he's a good <laughs> kicker. Yeah, I'm all, yeah, he can kick pretty good, too. Um, I'm our oh, kick return man. coordinator. And I get out there looking. I'm, you know, I'm looking on tape. I'm like, is, uh, is this something different? And then he realized he boots that thing, you know, almost to the goal line. So he thought I was joking. Oh, man, <laughs> he said, Fantastic well, um, This gonna be a good game. I think, like Greg, so you look at it, it's gonna be one of them games right. because David County always sneaky good. You know they, it's, they one of them teams. It's just always, you know, no, and, they, you, and the QBs are real good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I mean, and you hate playing David County. You know, oh, for you, sure. You hate playing David County. They're tough. And you guys talk about environments. I remember I was at Harding. We had to play David County first yeah. round of playoffs, and it Definitely was crazy. Tough place. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. came out with motorcycles and everything. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not a lot going on. It was a shock to the system. Yeah, I was about to say, like, <laughs> yeah, that's that kids. It might be a shock too. Yeah. But I mean, again, and then even looking forward, that uh, if I go back, I mean, I think. I can't remember how the Davy East Versailles, West Versailles, I got, I got confused and turned around with that, but a lot of those games were one score games. Yeah. So if you're West Mac so. and you come out and, and, and beat Davy County, you know you're in that game with, with East Versailles there. And I mean, yeah. you, you come out with a great game plan for that second game in a row. I mean, don't be surprised if they're, you know, third round again and, you know, kind of Coach Mata continuing on that same tradition as uh, as Coach Davis did. So yeah. they've, they're in a great spot too, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, well, shout out to Rico McDonald, who's actually one of the um, linebackers on West, uh, West Mex team. Um, he's a really powerful player when he gets going. So if he can get going, they oh, can yeah. do some things against him. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Right. They got talent. Good stuff, guys.